written in the 17th century, still call to us today. What sweeter music can we bring than a carol for to sing the birth of this, our heavenly King? We answer that call and make room in our hearts to celebrate the birth of the Christ child. Just as we eagerly await the coming of spring after a cold and dark winter, the people of Israel yearn for the coming of the Messiah, the one whom the prophets foretold. The people walking in darkness have seen a great light. On those living in the land of deep darkness, a light is dawned. For unto us a child is born, to us a son is given, and the government will be on his shoulders, and he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Of the greatness of his government and peace, there will be no end.
Greetings, you are highly favored. The Lord is with you. Mary was greatly troubled at his words and wondered what kind of greeting this might be. But the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. You will conceive and give birth to a son, and you are to call him Jesus. He will be great, and he will be called the Son of the Most High. The Lord God will give him the throne of his father David, and he will reign over Jacob's descendants forever.
keeping watch over their flocks by night. And an angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them. And they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid. I bring you good news that will come great joy for all people. Today in the town of David, the Savior has been born to you. He is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in claws and lying in a manger.
suddenly a great company of angels appeared to the shepherds in a nearby field, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven, and on earth peace to those on whom God's favor rests. When the angel had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let's go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has told us. So they hurried off and found Mary and Joseph and the baby, who was lying in the manger. And after they saw him, the shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all the things they had heard and seen.
After Jesus was born in Bethlehem in Judea, during the time of King Herod, Magi from the east came to Jerusalem and asked, Where is the one who was born King of the Jews? We saw his star when it rose and have come to worship him. And the star they had seen went ahead of them to where the child was. When they saw the star, they were overjoyed. They saw the child with his mother, Mary, and they bowed down and worshipped him. Then they opened their treasures and presented it with gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. Of angels in the night sky. 
to the worship by humble shepherds in a stable. To the faith of three magi to follow a star. This story is so dramatic that it's almost unbelievable. Yet we know it is true. Christ has come among us. He is among us right now, and our hearts long to worship Him. We are called to worship Him with our whole lives. And as we do that, Christ is born again in us, forever changing us into His likeness. 